What's good, Velvet Gang? Are you ready? This ASMR experience is going to be led by your ears, not your eyes. Binaural immersion is prepared to captivate you. You will be on a journey into the universe of the Velvet Whisperer. On this journey, you will be taken to three locations. Locations that are relatable and practical. In each location, you will be the subject with whom the Velvet Whisperer will communicate. The intent is that you will be consumed with tingles relaxation, euphoria. So wherever you are right now, get comfortable. Perhaps lay down, or you can sit up. Perhaps take your clothes off, or you can keep them on. Perhaps get a pillow, or not. It's whatever you feel that will help you to be most receptive to this journey. Let's begin. Location number one. Mmm, it tastes 
so good. You're gonna love this. I just know it. is being marinated in some carry gold butter. This in isn't quite big enough, but we'll have to make do. so I didn't have to cram everything in, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, I've had this just before. It's good. Yeah, I got it from... Well, I get it from Trader Joe's. Have you had Trader Joe's before? Or, or have you ever shopped there before? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the prices are definitely cheaper than uh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods is breaking a bang, though. <laughs> but, um, this dish is so tasty. And I can't wait to have some. How was your day, man? Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear me back? Alright, I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye. Location number two. The bathroom. Yo, so you had asked me um, how I felt about the apartment, how it was set up and all of that. And I was, I meant to tell you that, um, I love it. Like, I absolutely love it, you know what I'm saying? Um, So, what do you think about this? Have you ever had this, uh, have you ever used this type of body wash? It's called, uh, this one. Yeah, Everman Jack. <laughs> I know, when I first heard the name, 
I was like, every man jack. Okay, no. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a play on words. But this particular one is Signature Mint. Now, they used to have one that um was, it wasn't Signature Mint, but it, it was something else that I, that I really liked. Um, I can't remember it, but they don't make it anymore. Yeah, they still make it. Anymore. So, but I think we'll put these underneath the, uh, let's see. Put these underneath here. We'll put it in a bag because you know I've been um, like using. Oh wait, hold on, let me stop real quick. Yeah, I need, I need to get this stuff out. This method all purpose cleaner so I can uh aim this little uh what is it um why can I think this little uh what am I trying to say? Um damn I think thank you Michael um all purpose cleaner oh little little little, little handout bro anyways long day <laughs> so yeah you know I'm, I'm starting to use like these other natural products. Now this one is an Everman Jack and it's a uh, two in one. Where is towels at? Okay, it's a two in one thickening shampoo plus conditioner. Fine, I think here it has tea tree in it. Do you, are you familiar with tea tree? Yes, tea tree. I love tea tree. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna put this up because you know I'm still. Unpacking, you know, so get it together. Right, right, exactly. Oh shit, I need some papers. Oh, what is it? Hold on, one guy, something else. One moment. the um, Method All-Purpose Cleaner, and it uh, cuts grease and grime with plant-based cleaning power, biodegradable formula, and uh, it has, oh, look at this, look at this, it has lime salt, I mean, sorry, it has lime and sea salt, isn't that great, let's, let's try something to see, okay, now it looks like the some hot water in there. Do that there. Um, so I have this clear shower curtain. Yes, because I love see-through like showers. Um, if, if I could, I would have a rain shower. Have you heard of a rain shower? Yeah, so a rain shower is like it's like it's coming from like a big old shower nozzle and it's kind of like out in the open. You know, I think that is so hot, that is so sexy. Or oh, I think that like showers that you can see through, you, know, you can see the body through the shower, I think that's so hot. I love that. It's like sexy. But, um, oh, shit, not too long. Well, this is probably going to take me a while, so, you know, I don't want to like bore you. So, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and finish this up. And, uh, I'm just gonna give you a call later, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, 
So we don't have to get out and really, um, we got to get out of the parking garage and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just in a high class place, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, um, you should be good, you know, yeah. All right, I'm all, let me just, let me go and finish this. So I'm a how-to looker, right? So if you have any questions, just, what am I saying if you have any questions? Okay, I'm going to holler you later. <laughs> That's all true. It's been such a long day. But look, I'm gonna holler at you later. Alright. Yeah, just hit me up. Yeah, hit me up. Um, not tonight, but tomorrow. Let's get up tomorrow. Alright, bet. Peace. Location number three. The bookshelf. Yo, so have you talked to Gabby? How's she doing? Yeah, she sent me a message the other day saying she had a good weekend, but I hadn't talked to her today, so... You know, I gotta keep up with best friend, but I just got busy, so... Yeah. Yeah, we all gonna go out, though. Alright, true. But, um, alright, so what I'm doing right now is just going through these books. I told Martina... You know, she loves the books. You know, she says she's a bookworm. So I promised her that I would go through my collection and, um, you know, just kind of see what different books I have that I can donate. Because I think she, like, donates books or something. Yeah, so I was going to see. So right now I'm just kind of dusting them off. And, well, I mean, they're already clean, but, you know, sometimes dust can accumulate. So I'm just dusting them off. And uh, hold on right quick. Hey, Nerd Bama, that sounds good. Yes, sir. I said that sounds good, man. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. You wrote it? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just kind of playing around with some different, um, you know, different melodies. Kind of spontaneous playing or um, improv. This is actually what they call this improv. Why? Do you like it? Do you like it? I love it. And my friend can hear. They can overhear. They love it as well. Oh, that's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you can tell them I said thank you. No doubt. Turn it into something that I'll let you know. And then you can send it to me. And hopefully, you know, I'll still be digging it. I'll still be feeling the vibe. <laughs> I'll do that. Keep me posted. Um, so I have them broken up into categories. Um, so, okay, so this section up here. This is like my stuff that deals with... Um, Okay, for it's like sports books, cinematography books. Hold on, this is in the wrong location. Yeah, well, this one is a, a philosophy book, and this shouldn't be in this location. So, actually, I need to move this down to. Let's see, the philosophy will go down here. Where do I want to put this, actually? Actually, let me put this over this one. Okay, so on this section is like books about cinematography, like um, sports books, books about the body, the voice, um, breath, books about breathing, and then instructional books like, I have this uh, Spike Lee's Gotta Have It, Inside Gorilla Filmmaking. Oh, these pages feel so nice. It was kind of vintage almost. Yeah, this is a great book. Um, so, you know. But, uh, so that goes here. Location of sound. Um, then I have my, like, inspirational books. And, you know, the five love languages. Um, Many lives, many masters. Uh, the subtle art of not giving up. <laughs> By Mark Manson. Um, then I have some books 
from, you know, about astrology, so, like, the book of Neptune, and so this one is by, uh, let me see, Stephen Forrest, are you familiar with Stephen Forrest? Oh, okay, yeah, so Stephen Forrest, and the book of Neptune, it says, um, where is it, let me just get so Neptune marks the border between the conventional planets and deep space. It is the window through which you peer into your own mystical vastness. So there's like just much more to it. Then also I have the Book of Pluto. Now this one is about turning darkness to wisdom with astrology. And you know we all got some darkness in us. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like we all have things that we can work on. So, but anyway, so then I got, you know, the alchemist and feel free to prosper, Dan Greatly, Waking Up by Sam Harris, and the book of questions. <laughs> the book of questions, yeah, this, the book of questions is an interesting one. So, like, this is from the 80s, and so some of these questions are outdated. You know, they, they ask things that would not be politically correct to ask now. We have evolved from some of these things. And plus, um, some of these things, they can be kind of dark, you know. So here's an example of like one. Let's see. Um, okay, so here's a question. On a hot summer afternoon while walking through a parking lot at a large shopping center, you notice a dog suffering badly from the heat inside a locked car. What would you do? You know? So what would you do? Mm-hmm. Now I ask you, go ahead, answer the question. You wanted to know about the book, so I answered the question. <laughs> mm, okay. Now I feel you on that. Sure, I get that to you. All right, I'm gonna go uh, chill out. So I'll holler you a bit later. All right, peace. Um, okay, so this next section, I don't know what to call this, but you know, it's it's by well, first of all, it's it's nonfiction, you know, and so these are books that enrich my life in different ways. Like this one is. Uh, Hold on, you have a book out of order. But it's okay. This one is um, James Baldwin, and it's called The Fire Next Time. Then I also have um, Renee Fleming, The Inner Voice, um, Lerone Bennett Jr., Before the Mayflower, Desert Wisdom, some more James Baldwin books like Tell Me How, The Train's Been Gone, A Lot of Train's Been Gone. I have um, Robin Crawford's book. A song for you, my life of Whitney Houston. So that was really good. Then I got a lot of fiction, and the fiction is just, you know, it's great. We got some, let's see, down here, let's see how long. We got some Carl Weber, some Octavia Butler lover. You know what I'm saying? Oh, who else? Oh, um, got some Andre. Boy, was she darting? Got my oh, yeah, we got this too. So, we have some, um, let me see, we have some comic books and stuff. Oh, no, okay, so I forgot I had these type of comics. I got regular comics, and then I got some, uh, let's see, um, mature comics. <laughs> I'm so sorry, so I gotta go. Um, but don't worry, this isn't the last time. We're gonna be back on this bookshelf. We're gonna, you know, I'll take it, I'll tell you more about the books I have. But um, I, I think I have some that I can get to Martina. So, anyways, I gotta go. So, I'm gonna holler at you later. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, just hit me up, text me. Yeah, or call me, you know, whatever. Alright. Alright, you have a good night. Talk to you later. If you're still awake, hopefully you felt the intensity of the tingles, the relaxation, the euphoria. If you fell asleep, then hopefully you wake up refreshed. Till next time, Velvet.